Hi everyone, I am hopeful that all you will be fine. In today's session, we will learn how you can actually apply the OR 2.0 with the Facebook. Okay, so for that, I have already created a simple Node.js app where I have API.js and package.json files. Inside the API.js file, I have only configuration with the Express server. Okay, and inside the package.json, I have added only four packages. One is for Express dot env for the environment variables body parser and xers okay so the first step for the facebook or 2.0 we must be needed to navigate to the browser and then you need to navigate to facebook.com slash apps okay just hit enter you can see we are redirected to the apps dashboard and here you have a create a button you need to click on that create a button on the first step the form will ask you to choose the app type okay so i'm just choosing type none inside that i have a combination of consumer and business permission products okay so just click that next and then you need to set the app name i'm just naming it learn with neck and then just click on create app button it will ask to enter the password click on submit you can see your app is successfully generated. You have an app ID now here, okay? You can see on the dashboard, there are different type of products for different Facebook APIs, okay? In today's session, we are just focusing on OR 2.0. So that's why we need to add the Facebook login product. You just need to click on setup and you can see inside the product section, the Facebook login product is added, okay? Once you click on settings, you can see there is an alert which will mention that currently this app have only standard access to the public profile okay so if you want facebook login with the public profile you need to be must have a advanced access for that for the advanced access the requirement is that you need to navigate to the settings and click on basics here you need to have a valid privacy policy url and you must be have a valid terms of service url once you edit these and you save changes then you need to navigate to the product settings and from here you need to click on advanced settings you will be find here a public profile either you can see here also a email require get advanced access and you can also find here public profile permission okay you can see here the both scopes require get advanced access once you click on that and if you have already entered the valid privacy policy url then you will be able to get access to the public profile fully now we have a facebook login app or oauth app and we have also app id and app secret you can also get the secret from basic section you can see here you have a secret and here you have app id now navigate back to the vs code and here we need to create a file we name it oauth helper dot js inside that we need to create two different type of helpers. One is the authorization, where from we will return back the authorization URL. Here we will build the authorization URL. And an other helper called redirect. And we need to pass the code as a parameter inside that. Once the Facebook user authorizes our app, the user will be redirected to our app and in, inside the redirect helper, we have a code successfully. I will show you all the flow in this session, okay? So now, regarding the authorization URL, first we need to also create an .env file. Inside that, we need to create three different type of uh, environment variables. So first one is a Facebook client ID and other is a facebook client secret and the last one is a facebook login redirect url i think we need to change the names of other variables also so we need to append the login keyword okay now we need to navigate back to our app from here we need to copy the app id we need to paste that here and we also need to copy the secret we need to copy that you get back to the vs code and we need to paste that here okay 
Inside the development environment, we do not have a needed to configure the redirect URL to the app. Okay, you can see we have a redirect URL section inside the settings. You can see here OAuth redirect URLs. Okay, but for the development, you do not have a needed to set anyone. But for the production, you must be needed to add a valid OAuth redirect URLs here. We need to add the redirect URL directly inside the vs code and the redirect uri will be localhost for 4000 slash api slash facebook slash redirect okay now we get back to the oauth helper.js file and here we need to first build the authorization url okay so the authorization url will be https www.facebook.com slash version number we also need to create a version number inside the .env file so we say facebook api version okay and the current version is a v16.0 okay so we need to copy this variable and here need to use a string interpolation we need to call process.env.facebook api version okay and then set dialog keyword and at the end you need to set OAuth. okay so this will be a basic authorization url for the OAuth with the facebook okay with this authorization url we have a different type of a query parameters we needed to pass inside that authorization url okay so these query parameters are basically divided into different sections so one section is called required parameters and others are optional okay inside the required parameters you must be needed to set the client id client id means ape id okay you can see here we have already that and the second one redirect uri okay and we also have a redirect uri for the development environment okay so these two query parameters are required parameters you must be needed to configure inside the authorization url okay inside the optional query parameters you have a three different type of a query parameters either you can say it either you can leave those okay so first one inside the optional parameters called response type inside the response type you can set any one value from this set okay so inside the response type query parameter if you are not going to set any value by default the response type of this authorization url will be code called authorization code okay and the second one is a token so if you say the response type as a token then as you will be successfully get the access token okay you can also say both at the same time using the space separator as like i am typing here the code and then space token okay so if you have a set code space token then in the response you will get both authorization code and the token okay and the last one you can say it, the value inside the response type your parameter is called granted scopes if you have set granted scopes as a response type inside the authorization url then in the response you will get the permission list okay and you can also set the state as a query parameter inside the authorization url and the last optional parameter is called scope inside that you can set the permission list using the space separator okay so these are the three different optional query parameters you can set inside this authorization url but these two are the required ones you must be needed to set those okay so for that we also needed are required to set those so we are first need to set client id and we will get the client id from environment variable we need to copy this variable and we need to call process.env.facebook client id and then redirect uri okay here we need to call process.env. and then we need to copy this redirect uri okay that's all and then inside the redirect helper 
I'm just only going to build a payload object inside that. I'm just setting code for now, okay? And I'm just going to placing a breakpoint. We need to format the code. And then we need to navigate to the api.js file. Inside that, we first need to import helpers, the authorization and redirect helpers first. So we need to call here const require the OAuth helper authorization. So we need to first export these, okay? So we need to call module dot export authorization redirect. Now you have authorization and redirect need to format the code. And here we need to build two endpoints. The first one is for the authorization. We need to set the path API Facebook slash authorize. Okay. And here we need to bind that handler, request handler. So we need to call return response dot redirect await authorization. Okay. And the second one will be app.get path will be api facebook slash redirect okay async look as the response and here we just need to response dot json and we need to call await redirect and inside the redirect we need to pass code and we will get that from request.query dot code format the code save and we first need to install the packages and pmi okay now we need to start the api npm start and we need to navigate to the browser need to open another tab here we need to request localhost port 4000 slash api slash facebook slash authorize okay and we need to hit enter You can see just asking the permission for the logged in user. The app is learn with Nick. Okay. I'm just going to continue. And inside the redirect, you can see inside the code we have authorization code. This session is going a bit long. I'm just going to end this session. In the next session, I will show you how you can actually exchange this authorization code and get the access token. So hopefully we will come back with another session. Take care. Bye-bye.